The Queen has been visiting the Royal British Legion's Poppy Factory today to mark its 90th anniversary. The factory in Richmond in Surrey employs disabled former service personnel and their beneficiaries to make the nation's 45 million poppies. Well, for the latest in our week-long series looking at remembrance, Victoria Smith has been to see them at work. It's been the symbol of remembrance since 1921, when an American war secretary, Mona Michael, began selling poppies to friends. She'd been inspired by John McRae's poem in Flanders Fields, with its lines immortalizing the flowers that grew where the soldiers of the First World War had fallen. Sales of the poppies soared, and the idea was adopted by the Royal British Legion, who began producing them here at the poppy factory in 1922. 35 employees make half a million of the poppies each year. They're specially designed so that disabled workers can assemble them, some with just one hand. But it's more than just a production hub. It provides employment and even a form of therapy for those with the physical and psychological scars of battle. Former soldier Bill Selleck was diagnosed with PTSD after four tours of Northern Ireland. I began to get depressed and, and suicidal and you know, things like that. I kept taking time off, going AWOL, which was totally different to the character, you know, that I had before. No one actually came to me and said, what's, what's wrong? It was like, you know, you're, you're swinging the lead, you're letting the side down. But he says working here has helped. It's a safe place to be for people with um, combat stress or PTSD. Um, and sort of the, the camaraderie as well amongst the, the ex-service people and, and everyone else, of course. Alongside the poppies, the factory produces posies, wreaths and a range of remembrance crosses for different faiths. We make the classic remembrance cross, the Christian format of the cross, and we make just over a million of those here in Richmond. We then make the Star of David for the Jewish faith. We make the Crescent Moon for the Muslim faith. Um, we make the Sikh Kanda, which we introduced quite recently for the Sikh community. And we also make the Remembrance Stick, which was originally asked for by the Gurkhas, but actually fills the requirement for either the non-believers or the agnostics amongst us. Proceeds from the poppies go to the Royal British Legion, which in its turn supports former and current service personnel. But poppies are big business, with celebrities wearing theirs bigger and brighter than ever. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Jewellery designer Kleshner has her own range of sparkly poppies, with 15% of the recommended retail price going to the Legion. Her poppies clearly have the X factor, appearing on all the best dressed celebrities. But turning poppies into fashion statements has upset many traditionalists who feel the poppy should remain true to its roots. The paper poppy is absolutely magnificent and wonderful, but we live in, in a world now where people have choice. And one of the real benefits that I've been told by the Legion even is that the sparkly poppies have brought the poppy and opened up remembrance to a whole new generation of people. Last year's poppy sales raised a new record amount of £40 million for the Royal British Legion, an all-time high. There's no doubt that wearing your poppy with pride, wherever you buy it, will give Remembrance Day 2012 an extra bit of sparkle. Victoria Smith, Forces News.